going to do something I haven't done before and do a, a video of setting up the uh, CompuFire um, HDE1 electronic uh, ignition module um, in my uh, 1992 EVO project. Um, so I've got uh, some of the stuff already um, taken care of in the instructions. I've uh, got us on the top dead center uh, mark there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but uh, we've got the mark in the middle um, of the inspection hole uh, for top dead center. And I've already disconnected it from the coil and set up this uh, uh, positive wire that I'm going to attach to the battery. And we're going to do that to set the, the static timing. Um, if we go around to the other side here, you can see the, the cone, the cam chest cone there. And if you look in here, um, you'll see where this has got a little slot on it. Um, that from the, the rotor uh, fits in there to make sure it's in the proper uh, position. If you look on the uh, instructions here, um, front cylinder, top dead center mark on the flywheel, um, and then the correct location of that uh, pin. Um, so I'm gonna set the, the camera down and hopefully it'll be a, at a good enough angle we can see here. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is install the, uh, the, the rotor on there um, has a, a washer and a screw. It's going to take a just a little bit of blue Loctite on the end of the screw here. Get on there pretty good. Then I'm going to put the rotor in there, make sure that pin fits in that little slot, and then put the screw in there and tighten things down. Um, you know, you're not going to uh, tighten the heck out of this. It's just going to snug it down. Um, I'm sure there's torque specs, which I'll have to check that. I'm not. Uh, but the, the, the important thing is, is that you keep that um, that pin in that slot. So we'll just tighten that down. Huh. go and we're just on there snug. Um, now you're going to take the ignition module and if you look on the ignition module here there's this little um, front cylinder top dead center light and that's what you're going to use uh, to set your static timing. So you're going to put the ignition module in in the cone there Takes a little bit of work. And you're gonna rotate it um, counterclockwise um, to where the standoff bolts are gonna go in uh, and to the and it's gonna be rotated as far counterclockwise as it can be rotate, rotated. Now for the standoff bolts for now, we're gonna tighten them down. Uh, just kind of uh, it, they need to be tight enough that you can still move the ignition module. Um, but, uh, not, but it not move on its own. So we're just going to tighten those down and make sure the module is, make sure we can still move it. Yep. And I can move that in there. So now we've got that in there. We've got it rotated as far counterclockwise as we can have it rotated. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is uh, put, uh, attach that positive lead to the positive side of the battery. And that, um, that ignition light comes on. Now the, um, the, the kit comes with a stack of magnets. Uh, and this magnet is used to turn that light on and off. And you just place the magnet down in here, and you'll see it turns the light off. Now, to set the timing, the static timing, which static timing is setting timing uh, without the motor running, um, is what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the ignition module clockwise um, slowly until that ignition light 
and until that top dead center light comes on. Now, you're gonna wanna probably do this a couple of times just to make sure you're in the right spot so you can turn the light off again and then rotate it slowly just to the point where that light comes on. Um, and when you have it at that point where that light has come on, um, then is what you can do is just lock down these standoff bolts uh, so it won't it won't move and the timing has been um, statically set uh, and that's pretty much all there is to it um, we can now uh, button things up and you know put the put this wire in here and put the uh, the cover on the, the front of the the cam chest cone there um, and then we're statically timed and it, it, it should um, when I'm ready to start it it should fire right up and uh, and and run um, as, you know as long as I've done all this right uh, so hopefully that helps somebody um, again pretty easy process I've worked with this CompuFire um, ignition before um, I actually have the same one in the Sportster project uh, from sportsterproject.com which was the original bike uh, that I started working on for this um, and you know it so far so good no no issues with it at all very easy to set up um, just like here this is very easy to set up and uh, it's ready to rock and roll the next thing I'll do is uh, disconnect that positive uh, battery terminal and then reconnect the wires back to the coil uh, so hopefully this was helpful um, you know leave a comment if you have any uh, comments or questions and uh, stop by www.sportsterproject.com uh, to see uh, more on this project and other projects that I'm working on.